I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Let's do it. Take a long time. Uh, where are our rescuers? <laughs> we had two. Um, so we could get a couple people to step up and give me a hand. Off the end of the ply or the end of the hay bales are our four sheets of plywood. If someone can hand those up. Probably. grain is flowing. So every time we take a step, that grain's going to be flowing down on our victim. As uh, if he was buried up farther on his chest, every time he exhales, his chest comes in, that grain's going to flow in and make it tart, tighter around his chest and harder for him to breathe. If you're ever going to end up in a bin for some reason and get engulfed and you know it's going to go over your head, cup your hands and try and make an air space in front of your mouth so that you have a little bit of an air space. When you're going down to your victim, we threw our line, like I mentioned before, first thing, somebody went up on top of the bin, threw a line down, we got our victim at least tied off. One, it helps keep him from going down any further. It gives him a little bit of security that at least something's being done, he's not helpless, totally helpless in the bin. And number three, if he does get totally engulfed, at least we have a line secured to him so we know where he's at, so we can find him. Uh, when you're coming down the side of, most of the holes are on the side of the bin, so you're gonna to need to walk down to the center, to the cone. Um, try not to walk straight down in front of the victim, because now, as that grain's flowing in, you're putting more grain at his chest in front of his face. So if you need to, come around so you approach him from behind or off to the side, so at least you're not flowing quite as much grain in in front of him. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put this coffer dam around our victim, like I said, these are about five foot long and two foot wide. If we were to cut them sideways out of a sheet of plywood so we could get all four out of one sheet, it's only gonna end up being four feet tall. And as we drive that down into the grain, it may not be far enough down by his feet to allow him to get free. So that's why we need to cut him the long way out of, the, out of two sheets of plywood. We're gonna put a sheet on each side would it be better if they were tapered a bit at the end? Uh, it wouldn't hurt if they had a little bit of a taper to them. As we're driving these down, we need to be careful that right now we know our victim is standing straight, so his legs are straight underneath them. We need to be careful that he doesn't have a leg sticking out sideways so we're not shoving that sheet down on top of him. So just a couple things to watch out for. Our victim is secured by the line that we threw into him. Now we as rescuers would all in a bin we would all need to be secured in a harness and come down also on a line. So now we've got his line, we've got all of our lines. Uh, it's gonna be dark, so we wanna get some headlamps or some lights. You know, there's not a lot of lighting in the bin. Um, aeration fans running, so it's noisy. A lot of things going on. Communications are pretty tough. We're gonna put the other one in next to him. We gotta get probably a little closer to the center. step in that grain within about two feet of your victim, he's going to feel that pressure as you step near him. As you drive these panels in, he's going to be able to feel that. I see 
Now we're going to need to drive those panels down because he's about six foot tall. These panels are only five foot tall. So if we can drive them down about level with the top of his head, the panels then will be about a foot from his feet. monitoring we know that it's a safe environment we're not going to have an explosion if your victim is conscious give him the shop back gives him something to do he's aiding in his own rescue right now shot back and jam it way down in because it needs a little bit of air to be able to draw the corn up. So always just vacuuming it off at the top. Um, if you're at a facility that has a big agar vac, make sure that you don't jam that down in there because that removes so much product if you get it down below their feet, you're actually making a void space and you're going to draw them down. So always be taking the grain off around the top. nice thing about the coffer dam is we can drain that that shop back out right here as long as it's on the outside of the wall and that's where it's nice you want to have at least two rescuers ideally you don't want to have a lot more because then you have a lot more people stepping on the hmm. grain pushing down around them hmm. more people collapsing the grain down in yeah Once you get your rescuer so the grain is down near their knees or below, then what you can have them do is grab a hold of the top of the panel, pull up on it, and just start stair-stepping like they're climbing a ladder. <laughs> By them climbing the ladder, that helps them to walk up out of the grain. <laughs> you can see he's stepping now, and now he's loose. Then what we can do is we can start to remove these panels, and if the corn were a lot higher on the outside than the inside, as we remove them, the grain's going to flow in on it. Oh, yeah. So what we'll do is have him stair step as we pull the panels out so that he doesn't get buried again. Now we can take these panels, if he was injured and we needed to put them on a backboard or anything like that, we could take these panels, we could lay them down, use them to stand on, create a surface so that we have something to work from. Uh, you can see how the grain's kind of running in on the one corner here. If you get a spot where you don't have them lined up just right, the rescuer could put his leg or his foot up against that and keep it from flowing. Um, you could take the other scraps from the plywood sheets that are left. Stick one of those in there. Um, so it works pretty well. The only thing is your victim needs to be uh, visible in order for this to work. If they've gone subsurface where they're completely covered, then we need to do some other evolutions where we need to actually cut the bin in certain spots and drain the grain away from it. And that gets involved in a lot of different... Uh, a lot more involved because now you have to cut holes on opposite sides of the bin so that the grain flows evenly because if you cut a hole on one side you're going to drain the grain off from one side create a negative pressure and the other side will have a little grain pushing out on it you could have a collapse mm -hmm. so any questions